Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to make your camera follow your player. This technique is mostly used in third person shooter or third person games like Batman, Prince of Persia, where the player keeps on moving and the camera follows the player. Now there are three ways to do this. The first one is making the camera as a child of your player. The second one is using a script. And third one is using Unity Cine Machine. So we'll see all these three in this tutorial. So we'll go one by one and we'll see what are the advantages and disadvantages of it. So I have a cube and uh, I have made a scene. And I've attached a move script and a rotate script to, uh, to the cube. And as of now, I'll disable the rotate script. So when I play the game, the cube moves forward. As you can see, the camera is not following the cube. Now for the first method, we can just drag this main camera into the cube and it becomes the child of the cube. So now if I play the game, the camera will move with the cube since it is the child of the cube. Now this method is very simple to implement provided your player doesn't rotate. Say I enable the rotate script also. And when I play the game, the camera will start rotating with the player. Now, unless if your game has this kind of cool effects, there is no point of using camera follow with the rotation. So in order to avoid rotation, we will go into the next step. So now we don't want the main camera to be the child. So we'll bring it out and we'll add a script to it. And we'll call it camera follow. For using this method, you need to adjust your camera first so that it is at a distance which will be considered as an offset so that the distance is maintained when the object moves. So I have set my camera in this view. So the camera is at y2 and z minus 10, whereas my cube is at y.5 and z minus 3.65. So I'm going to maintain this distance and I'm going to ask the camera to follow the cube and also maintain the distance when moving. So let's go into the script. So as usual, we don't need these two using. And first thing is we need a vector 3. And that will be our offset. Second, we need one more vector 3. Which will be our new position. Then I'm going to need my game object, that is my player, so that I'll know what to follow. And in my start function, I'm going to see what is my offset. Offset is equal to difference between my camera position and the player position. So player dot transform dot position minus transform.position. Now if you attach the script to the player then you will have to do the vice versa. So since I am attaching the script to the camera, I am checking the player's transform the position and uh, taking the transform the position of the camera and then subtracting them to get the offset. And now that I have the offset, so now my camera position that is transform.position is going to be equal to uh, my player dot transform dot position plus offset so then it should be minus offset let's go back let's play the game and as you see the okay I'm not assigned it main camera and here's my player let's play and now my camera follows my player now there is one drawback in this way of doing it uh, when the player jumps or the player moves in the y direction the camera also moves that should not happen if that happens then you will not be able to see the jump action of the player so to avoid that, we have to make a simple change to the script. That is, 
we'll use the new position new position equals to transform dot position that is we are taking the camera position to the new position and then we'll assign only the x equal to player dot transform dot position dot x minus offset dot x similarly just copy this we'll do it for the z also and this x will become z so once that is done we'll assign a new position to transform dot position equals to new pos semicolon so this way when the player jumps the y position will not be affected so the camera will remain in the same height so now if we go back and play the game so now now the camera is following the cube and if the cube jumps the camera will not jump with it so this is the final script you can get the script from vinix studio i'll leave the link in description for the third method we don't require any scripts so we can remove this then go to window package manager and go to unity registry wait for the package manager to load the packages uh, search for cine machine uh, unity cine machine install it once cine machine is installed you should see uh, option of cine machine in your hierarchy window then go and add a virtual camera and when you add a virtual camera it adds a script to a main camera called cine machine brain so in the virtual camera you will see an option called follow drag and drop your player here so in our case it is the cube so let's drag and drop the cube here now in the body the body parameter select framing transposer and make sure your x y and z damping is set to zero you can adjust the camera's y position from here the screen's y position just a rotation of the camera using rotation but when you're using the virtual cam the position will be under the framing transposer control so you can use only x uh, screen x y to move the camera the distance between the camera and the object can be specified here so once you think the camera is good enough like the view is good enough then you can press play and and now the camera follows the player now you have learned three different ways to make your camera follow the player so you can use whichever is most suitable for your game see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share